Dean, not the most ideal result from a results point of view, but you must be relatively happy with how some of the younger players perform. <coughs> yeah, as you said, obviously, results-wise, we uh, a player team what could fall, uh, would win a football match. We finished with four youth team players on there, got a 16-year-old making his debut, and uh, I thought he handled it really well. Yeah, and uh, McGregor had a great shot towards the end of the game. I think he hit the crossbar or the post. What did you make of that? Yeah, he done well when he came on. Cam, he got two shots off in ten minutes. Uh, he was un un unfortunate. He, uh, inside of the inside of the post and dropped top of the crossbar, bottom of the crossbar. Sorry, and he just didn't go in for him. But no, uh, youth team players uh, give him full credit. Dropped him in, and uh, a lot of them done well for themselves. So uh, Mark Carrington was the man of the match today, but he was also the captain. Do you look towards players like him to encourage the young players and lead them on also? Yeah, yeah, obviously Carrington's the oldest player on the pitch. He's uh, obviously he's, uh, assistant captain to Sean when Sean's not available. Uh, I thought Carrington done well, I uh, thought Kevin Roberts done well. And, uh, but you look at the average age, that finished with 21, and uh, I think there's positives there going forward. So um, Taki was made his debut today. Uh, what did you think of that? Obviously he was, didn't start, but he made it, got involved a little bit, I think. Yeah, obviously he's been in his training and he's done okay and I just thought it was an opportunity, opportunity to give him some minutes and just see what he's about and uh, he's done alright. Yeah, and looking forward next to Dover then, obviously that's a, a big game for the team. What will you be saying to the team after after Macclesfield and after today? Yeah, obviously we were disappointed with what happened last week, um, but obviously we've gone today, made a few changes, uh, trying to give a few legs a rest and obviously then give her some other legs uh, a few minutes if not Adam of late. So obviously I thought one or two done okay, and, but obviously it's a big week for us this week going forward now, a big test next week. Okay, to see. I think the league was always going to be the priority, Dean, but obviously, um, and that was reflected in your team, wasn't it, really? Yeah, look, I'm not I'm not disrespecting the core for the competition, but uh, obviously our ambition this season is to make a team that's going to uh, put us uh, in, in the mix to come the end of the season, and uh, at, at the moment, we're right smack bang in there, and uh, obviously I just saw an opportunity, give a few lads some minutes, get some get some time on, on the pitch, and obviously give one or two uh, legs a rest. I think you weren't the only manager who'd done the same thing today as well. I no, I mean, look, you, I think if you look at it, look at it uh, a lot of teams going with smaller squads to try and get better quality players in. And uh, obviously, you'll look up and down and there's a few, few of the teams that are at the top end of our division who have uh, who've got knocked out today. Okay, thanks nice. Cheers, gents. Thank you, guys.